hope so. I can't wait for you to be here. When? Next month, just in time for the dance. This is going to be the best school year ever! You're beautiful, Layla. This school year has been a dream, Jamie. I can't believe you're here with me. It's more than I could have ever hoped for. Me too. And we managed to sneak Mark and Olivia in. <laughs> it wasn't too hard. We just got them guest passes. But it's way more fun to think we snuck them in. Okay, we snuck them in. What's next for us, Jamie? I imagine we'll go get some punch and end the night at Mark's house playing games and, well, having a fire. No, I mean, you and me. What's next? Oh, I guess I hadn't thought too much about it. Does that disappoint you? A little. I think about it all of the time. Why don't you tell me what you think about? We're graduating pretty soon. It's time to start thinking about what will happen after high school. Ugh, the real world beckons. Don't make fun of me. It really does. Sorry, Layla. You're right. We're graduating soon. What about it? Do you want to go to college? I guess. I don't even know what I'd major in. I don't have anything that I'm interested in doing for the rest of my life. But do you want to go to college with me? Layla, I'd follow you anywhere. Then let's do it. Let's go to college together. <sighs> I... Lovebirds, leave room for a school bus to pass through. You're one to talk, Mark. Olivia is basically attached to you. I can't help that my man knows how to dance. I still can't believe you two got together after we left. Once you guys were gone, I was like, hey, this is boring. Who can I find to entertain me? <laughs> Shut up, Mark! I'm just playing. You know I am. Is the plan still to go play games at your place after this? And we're lighting a fire in the fire pit. S'mores. The only reason I'm making it through this dance is for the promise of s'mores. And to show off that dress. You know it! Yo, Mark, let's go get punch, yeah? Dude. This night has been perfect. I agree. Okay, you totally don't agree. What's up? Jamie looks so handsome and you're beautiful. We're dancing the night away with the men of our dreams and then we're gonna go to play board games. What could possibly make this the most perfect night? I brought up the college thing to Jamie. Oh boy. He just didn't seem as excited about it as I am. What did he say? He said he'd follow me anywhere. <laughs> That's great! That's exactly what you wanted to hear! That's the problem. It sounded more like he was telling me what I wanted to hear, and not like he actually meant it. There was something different in his voice. Do you think he doesn't want to go to college with you? Maybe that's it? I don't know. I just wish he would say what he's actually thinking instead of just telling me what I want to hear. You sure you don't want him to tell you what you want to hear? <laughs> I want him to tell me what I want to hear, but I want him to want to tell me those things because he actually thinks and believes them. There it is! That's the kicker! My ladies, punch for the goddesses. Ugh, enough of the compliments. I couldn't possibly hear someone call me a goddess another time. You're a goddess, Olivia. Stop! No more! What were you and Olivia talking about? 
Nothing, just the other girls' dresses and how they aren't nearly as cute as ours. Funny. Have you seen Destiny or Trey anywhere? Not for a while. I don't even know if I want to find them. Why is that? Are you kidding? All they do is make out now that they got together. That's right. How could I forget that they hated each other and then decided, well, they love each other? Crazy. Where have I heard that story before? Let's go find them. Hey, what are you doing back here? Nothing. Yeah, she, she lost her shoe. Uh, I was helping to find it. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's just Layla and Jamie. You really sounded like one of the chaperones. What were you doing? Well, definitely not making out. <laughs> Dude! Anyways, what are you guys doing? Looking for you. Are you coming to Mark's house after? Wouldn't miss it. Sweet. Yeah, we're heading out in like five. See you there. Let's leave these two to get back to finding shoes. Shut it! <laughs> Are we going to play a game? Yes! Truth or dare! I was thinking more like Monopoly. Sorry. Nah, you don't play board games after going to a dance. You play Truth or Dare! I don't know, guys. It feels like it could get a little out of hand. I think it sounds fun. <laughs> of course you do. I'll start. Mark, truth or dare? Ha <laughs> dare, buddy. I dare you to do a backflip. Pick something harder next time. Mark's turn! That was sweet. I didn't know you knew how to do a backflip! There's a lot you don't know about me, baby. Um, Destiny. Yes, Marky Mark, darling? Truth or dare? Dare! Feisty! I dare you to do an embarrassing dance. Easy! Hope you like the show! Trey, you're up! Truth or dare? Hmm... Truth. Aw, getting in touch with your feminine side, I see. Just tell me the truth, Destiny! Is it true that you used to like someone in our friend group that wasn't me? Ooh! Uh, yeah, it's true. Who? Whoa, th that wasn't part of the truth question. I'm making it part of the truth question now. <laughs> Chill, Jamie. Nah, who was it? Just tell him and get it over and done with, Trey. We all know who it was. You've just never admitted it. Fine, it was Layla. <gasps> Stay away from Layla, Trey. He's with me. He's not going anywhere near Layla. Don't worry, man. Calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Jamie, it's fine. We've already talked about this. It's in the past, remember? All right, Jamie. Truth or dare? Truth. Is it true you don't want to go to college with Layla? Olivia, who did you tell? I told Destiny you were concerned and she must have said something to Trey. Layla, what makes you think I don't want to go to college with you? I don't know. You just didn't seem really excited about the idea. Layla, I told you I'd follow you anywhere. But you're just telling me what I want to hear. That's all you do. You don't tell me how you really feel. I've never lied to you, Layla. Not about anything and not about this. Of course I'll go to college with you. 
do you want to go? That's the real problem. Or are you just going because I asked you to? I just... I don't know what I want to do, okay? Choosing to go to a college is a really big deal, and picking a major is another huge decision. I don't know what I want to have for breakfast, let alone what I want to do as a job for the rest of my life. If that ain't it, then I don't know what it is. I don't get why they let kids make those kinds of decisions for themselves, not to mention all of the debt. Mark, you're not helping! Not me causing problems. I'm going to go to college. I'm going to get a degree and a good job so that we can have a house and a family. Now we're talking about having kids? We haven't even graduated high school yet! This is wild! Does anyone have any popcorn? Get it together, Jamie! Are you gonna go after her, buddy? Not this time! How many times am I gonna have to apologize for Friday night? I don't know. Come on, it's been a whole weekend of you being mad at me. Please. I'll forgive you on one condition. Anything. I picked a school across the country. It's perfect, it's amazing, it's everything I've ever wanted and more in a school. If you really mean it, if you'll really follow me anywhere, then apply for that school. You don't even need to declare a major. You can get all of your core classes done first and declare your junior year. I will help you find something you like. Well, when's the application due? Friday. Layla, that's in four days! You can do it. Happy Friday, man. I know that look. What's going on? Layla gave me an ultimatum. She said that she'd only forgive me for what happened on Friday night and for telling her that she wants to hear all the time if I applied for the college that she picked for us to go to. And? The last day to turn in the application is today. And? Well, I didn't do it. Oh, no. I just, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't figure out what I wanted. It's a great school and it'd be really cool to go with her and I know it would make her really happy, I just... I don't think it would make me really happy, I just... Uh, I just... I don't know what I want! Did you apply for anything? Yeah, I, I applied for the community college down the street. No way, so did I! Olivia did too! Did anyone apply for the school that Layla applied to? I don't think so. Trey and Destiny are... I don't care what Trey's doing. Well, it doesn't matter anyways. They didn't apply to Layla's school. Ugh, I really messed up. She's gonna break up with me, I just know it. Are you going to tell her? I don't know how. Well, you better figure it out soon. She's gonna find out whether you tell her or not. In my hand is the envelope that seals my fate for the next big chapter of my life. I'm about to find out if I got into my dream school. This is so exciting! Jamie, are you sure your acceptance letter hasn't arrived yet? Yeah, it's not here. I'll keep checking the mail. What gives? You seriously haven't told her you never applied? Dude, it's been three months since the application was due. What are you doing? I don't want to ruin this for her. It's way past that now, man. If you don't say something, you're gonna lose her forever. And you better have a good reason for not applying, too. Okay, everyone ready? Open that letter, lady! I got in! I can't believe it! This is incredible! Jamie, this is going to be the best four years of our lives! I'm so proud of you, Layla. It's the college acceptance for me. Oh, I can't wait for you to get your letter, Jamie. I have a good feeling about this. Yeah, me too. 
Hey, Olivia, let's let these two celebrate alone for a little bit, yeah? But I wanted to keep the party going! Come on, I'll tell you all about it in the car. What's going on? Don't chicken out. Jamie, what's Mark talking about? Layla, I, I need to talk to you about something. No, Jamie, did you get your acceptance letter? Layla, I... If you didn't get in, that's okay. We can work with that. You can move in with me and live in an apartment and we'll apply again for your sophomore year of college. Layla... Lots of people didn't come in until their sophomore year. It's not a big deal at all. Layla! I, I never applied. What? I never applied to the college. I just... I couldn't bring myself to do it. But you said you did. You promised me. I, I never actually lied. I never told you I applied and I never promised you that I would apply. Whether you told me you did or not, you never told me you didn't. Not telling me the whole truth is still lying. How could you do this to me? Hold on, you told me yourself that you wanted me to be happy about my decision. Yeah, I wanted you to be happy deciding to come to college with me. That's what I wanted. You can't control how I feel about things. It's not possible and it's not fair. I just don't understand why you would let me think for the last three months that we even had a tiny chance of going to college together. Did you even apply to a college or were you lying about that too? I applied to the community college down the street and so did Mark and Olivia. Not only are you not coming to college with me, but you get to spend the next four years with our best friends without me? What happened to, I'll follow you anywhere, Layla? Look, I'm sorry. I should have never have led you on like that. I, I should have told you. Yeah, you should have. This really hurts, Jamie. This hurts more than anything you've ever done to me. I'm sorry, I'm so, so sorry, Layla. Me too. Well, now what? I think... I think we should take a break. No, Layla, please, please, let me make this up to you. How are you going to make this up to me? You've ruined our only chance at going to college together by not applying and by telling me you don't want to go. You lied to me. You led me on for three months. How could you possibly make this up to me? I don't know, just give me a chance. We're taking a break. I don't know how long we're going to take a break, but I'll let you know when I've made up my mind about you being my boyfriend. Oh, okay. I guess I can accept that. You don't have a choice, Jamie. Please, leave me alone to think. Bye, Layla. I'm sorry. going to miss you, girly. Me too. It'll be weird not hearing your laugh in the hallways. I'll be home during all of the holiday breaks, and I'll be home for the summer, too. Until you land some hot shop internship at some big marketing firm. <laughs> Until then. Good luck. You'll do great. Well, this is goodbye, I guess. Thanks for coming out to say goodbye, even though we're still on a break. Oh, of course. I just... What is it? I don't know how we're going to deal with the distance. I mean, we aren't even dating right now, and we're still on a break. I know. I just need to find myself. I need to see what it's like to be out on my own at college and meeting new friends who are interested in the same things as me. I'm going to find my people. I thought Olivia, Mark, and I were your people. You'll always be my OG. I'll wait for you, Layla. Thanks, Jamie. Hey, 
I'm Layla. Ariel, so nice to meet you. Welcome to our home for the next two semesters. I like it. It's cozy. I got here yesterday, so I already have my pick of the beds. I hope that's okay. Fine by me. So, what's your major? Marketing. No way! Me too! Well, public relations marketing, but they're pretty similar. That means we'll be in a lot of the same classes. Oh, that's so great! Awesome. I'm glad I'll at least kind of know one person here. Oh, we'll be best friends before the end of the week. How can we not be? We share a bedroom. <laughs> yeah, it'll be cool. Go ahead and get unpacked. The communications department is having a big welcome event for the freshmen in the student center. We can go together. Okay, I'll hurry up. Thank you, students, and welcome to your first year at Sundale University. On behalf of the communications department, we are thrilled to be expanding the minds of the next generation of great thinkers. My name is Professor Reyna. I am the head of the communications department and the professor of many of your 101 level courses. Tomorrow is your first day of classes, so please mingle and meet the other students in your majors. And then head home for a good night's sleep as you will certainly need it. She's so strict. I hear she never awards an A because she believes everyone can always do better. Well, come on, let's go meet people. You go on ahead. I'm going to see if I can talk to Professor Reyna for a moment. Catch you later, Rumi. Sorry, excuse me. I wasn't looking where I was going. Don't worry about it. Are you a new student here? Isn't everyone? What's your major? Marketing. Oh, nice. We'll be seeing a lot of each other then. Oh, you're marketing too? Where are you from? The other side of the country. A place called Brookhaven. I tried to get as far away from my hometown as I could. Running from something or someone? Not running, exactly. I get it. College is a place to start over. You can make yourself into anyone you want to be here. No one knows who you were in the past or what your story was. All they know is that you walked through those doors yesterday. And they did too. I'm hoping to find my people. <laughs> I hope you find them too, Miss Layla. Pleasure to meet you. He was attractive. So cute. It's like the boys here at Sundale are a completely different breed. He was really cute. He was very confident too. And told me we can make ourselves into anyone we want to be when we're at college. He's right! No one knows anyone here. We can be whoever we want to be. Who do you want to be, Layla? That's a good question. I hope I find my answer. Me too. <laughs> I think I want to be successful, confident, well-liked, and beautiful. <laughs> I think you've got a few of those already figured out. Your pink hair screams beautiful and confident. <laughs> Why, thank you. We better get ready for bed. Big day tomorrow. Our first college class. Good night. Anything important? Uh, nope. Let's go. Sorry, excuse me, I wasn't looking. Hey, I know you. Always bumping into people, I see. I'm going to start calling you Bumpy. Do you have a class in this building today? Yup, first class of the day with Professor Reyna. <laughs> me too. I had a feeling. How come? We met at the communications department mixer last night. Oh, duh, of course, silly me. 
<laughs> Cute. Can I get your smoothie? What? Can I buy your smoothie? Consider it a first day of school gift. Um, sure. Yeah, wow, thanks. Don't mention it. See you in class. Watch your step and try not to bump into anyone else on your way. Bumpy, they might not be as nice as me. Was that the handsome boy from the mixer yesterday? Yes, and he popped me my smoothie. Girl, day two and you already have yourself a boy toy. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'd call it that. <laughs> you don't see any boys buying me smoothies before class yet. <laughs> Give it time. I'm sure he was just being friendly. Bet! Welcome, first years, to Marketing 101. In this class, we'll be learning the basics of marketing from developing a marketing campaign to designing the materials within one. Please make sure to take a syllabus and stick to it. I will be assigning work throughout the semester, and the due dates are on your syllabus. I will not be reminding you. Pay attention! You're right. She is strict. I told you! First thing is first. I want to gauge your current understanding of marketing. I have a pop quiz I'll be handing out. It's only worth five points, but we don't assign many points to many things in this class, so failing this quiz on the first day would be a poor choice. I'm already nervous. Me too. We have to do well. Hey, where's that cute boy? I don't know. I haven't seen him. He told me he'd be here. Late on the first day? Oh, that's not good. You may begin. Time. I didn't finish. What? Layla? I will now quickly read through the answers to the multiple choice questions. Ready? A, C, D, A, A, B, D. If you answered every question correctly, please raise your hand. That means that only one of you in the entire class managed to answer every single question incorrectly. You, next to the girl with the pink hair. Me? Yes, you. Stand. What is your name? Layla? Layla, I see. Listen carefully, Layla. I do not tolerate failure in this classroom. I will push you to succeed and find strength in yourself that you never knew existed. But I need you to always be giving me 100%. This quiz shows me that you aren't ready to give 100. I am ready, Professor Reyna. That is yet to be determined, I believe. Class, I'm going to assign a daily reading. You'll have 150 pages of reading for this evening, and I expect that you'll meet in pairs and study the work together. You may choose your own study partners, except... Layla. What? Layla, you will be needing a bit of additional support. My TA will be your study partner. TA stands for Teaching Assistant, if you've never taken a college course before, which most of you have not. Class, please meet your TA, Samson. Nice to meet all of you. Samson, you will be partnered with Layla for this evening's reading assignment. Please be sure to give extra attention to the reading and is back tomorrow, present and ready to learn. Consider it done, Professor. That's all for today. Class dismissed. A hundred and fifty pages! That's insane! I can understand 50, I can even understand 75! But 150 is way too much! Does Professor Reyna think she's the only professor in class we have to study for? Yes, actually, she does. 
Or rather, she knows she's the most important. Professor Reyna's classes are weighted differently than everyone else's, as everything she covers is everything you'll find on the comprehensive exam at the end of your four years. C compre comprehensive exam? Oh yeah, everything you learn all four years in the department squashed together in one giant 1,000 question test. That is insane. A lot harder than high school, huh? You can say that again. So, Layla, looks like we really will be seeing a lot of each other. I really am smart. I graduated at the top of my class. I got A's in every single subject. Get used to not getting A's with Professor Reyna. She doesn't believe in A's. So I've heard. I don't know what happened during that quiz. I just froze. It's all good, little lady. I can help you out. That's what I do. So you aren't a freshman? Nope, I'm a junior. Typically, they have graduate students' TA classes. But Professor Reyna was so impressed by my work that she broke the rules a little. She can do that. Why didn't you tell me before? I thought you were a freshman like me. You never asked. I hate to break up this little fun conversation we're having, but I need to go find a partner for tonight's reading before all the students have partnered up. And I'm all alone. I feel like Professor Reyna would take points off for that, even though it's out of my control. Right you are. Good luck. Thanks in advance for helping me with the reading. Don't worry about it. Why don't you meet me tonight in my favorite study spot? It's cozy and there aren't many distractions. Okay, where? It's just outside the library. Walk around the back and you'll see me. 8 p.m. Okay, thanks. And Bumpy, don't tell anyone about our meeting spot. It's the best study zone on the whole campus. And I don't share that information with just anyone. Oh, okay. See you then. Wild. I have already managed to fail a pop quiz and have gotten myself in such a pickle that the professor assigned the TA to help me study. Girl, that's wild. How about your classes? How's Brookhaven community? It's nice. The campus feels a bit like the high school, but it's still fun. It's weird going to class and then driving home to my house to sleep in my childhood bedroom. I think it'd be much cooler to sleep in a dorm. How about your roommate? Her name is Ariel. She's awesome. She has pink hair. What a dream! I'd dye my hair purple if I could. Just do it! Jamie? Hi, Layla. Hi, Olivia. How'd you get on there, Jamie? Don't worry about it. So, how's it going, Layla? Fine. That's good. Olivia and I have a class together. Cool. This is awkward, guys. I think I'm gonna let you two go and talk. I'll FaceTime you later, Leila. No, Olivia, wait! What's wrong? Nothing. I miss you. Yeah. Come on, Layla. Why are you giving me one-word answers? You can't still be mad at me. I can, though, Jamie. You really hurt me with your lies. I've told you this. I know, but it's been three months. We've been on a break forever. Why don't you get it? If we haven't gotten back together in three months, what makes you think we're ever going to get back together? I said I'd wait for you. Well, stop waiting, Jamie. Freshman. I'm sorry, I was just on the phone and I lost track of time. This isn't a good start. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm not Professor Reyna. I'm not a strict old lady. She's not that old. So, let's get started on the reading. Did you take this class too? 
A few years ago, yeah. I was one of the only students to pass with an A. I thought you said Professor Reyna never gave A's. She makes an exception for exceptional students. I want to be an exceptional student. Then we better get to studying. And there we have it. I think I understand. At least, I hope I understand. Good. Now let's go get something to eat. I'm starving. It's 11 o'clock at night. So what? That's late? Do you have a curfew or something? No. Then come on, live a little. But we have 8 a.m. classes tomorrow. Let it go, relax, it's college. It's the time to make bad decisions and learn from your mistakes. This, however, is a great decision. You should never pass up the opportunity for midnight pie. <laughs> okay, let's go. You can tell me a little bit more about yourself, Bumpy. Like, why does a girl as beautiful as you not have a boyfriend? Layla, wake up! Up! Are you sure? Because I've woken you up four times now and every time you've fallen back asleep! <sighs> Okay, I'm actually awake now. You have five minutes to get dressed and leave for class or we're going to be late! What were you doing so late last night? I had that study session with the TA, remember? But that's no reason to get home at 2 in the morning! My study session was done by 11! We went out for midnight pie. Midnight pie? Did you know chocolate soaked pie is even better at midnight? I didn't. You're off your rocker, lady. Let's go! nice and sweet. I think he might really like me. So you have a crush on Samson? I know, it's crazy. It's only the second day of classes and I already like someone. Didn't you say you had someone back home you were seeing? I don't know. We've been on a break for a few months now and I just don't see how things are going to work out. He lied to me and I haven't been able to forgive him. I know how that goes. Boys are idiots. telling me about? Is this some kind of black magic? That's the one. What are you doing here, Jamie? I can't just let things go, Layla. After our FaceTime last night, I knew that I needed to do something crazy to get your attention. So you know what? Here I am. I'm here to beg you for forgiveness. I feel like I'm in one of those romance movies on the TV. This is crazy. You flew across the country just to try to win me back? It's more than that. You've given up on us, but I haven't. I know that we're meant to be together. We're endgame, that's why I'm here. Because even though you're not sure, I am. He sounds pretty serious, Layla. Ariel, shh. So come on, what do you say? Can we please try again? <sighs> I found someone else, okay? You did? Ariel! Oh, the TA, that's right. You're dating your teaching assistant? Not exactly. He's really nice, and I think I like him. I was going to see where things are going. 
I, I can't listen to any more of this. We're on a break, Jamie. That's what being on a break means. It means we can try out other people or focus on ourselves without the other person feeling butthurt about it. I'm not butthurt. Sure seems like it. Ariel! Ariel! Fine, fine, I'm gone. So where is this guy? I want to meet him. No. Well, if he's so great, then show him to me. No, I don't want you to meet him. Oh, hey, Layla. Thanks for letting me buy your smoothie, pretty lady. I hope I get to see more of you soon. Sup? Was that him? Shut up. He looks like a player to me. What are you upset about? He bought me a smoothie too, just like that. That's what a player is. They play games. It doesn't even look like he's a good player anyways. He probably uses that same trick on all the girls. I don't have to stay here and take this from you. I have to get to class. Layla, wait, please. What? Look, I'm sorry for making fun of you. I can just see so much more than you can see right now. It's like you're blinded with anger from when I didn't apply to Sundale. Well, it was pretty earth shattering. I thought my boyfriend and I, who I loved very much, were going to college together and start out the rest of our lives. Instead, he lied to me about applying and stayed on the other side of the country to go to some dumb community college with our friends. How many times do I need to apologize? I don't know. Then I'll apologize one more time, Layla. I'm so sorry for what I put you through. I should have never have lied to you and I won't lie to you again. I promise to tell you the truth, even if it hurts me or you. And I have something else to come clean about. What is it? Well, I applied to Sundale. I was accepted and I wasn't just coming here to ask for your apology. I moved into a dorm. So, looks like we're going to school together. Oh, Jamie! Hi guys! We're switching gears here a little bit. I'm taking control of the story now. Welcome to our apartment. It's quaint and I like it that way. Jamie and I got back together that day at the smoothie shop. He was right. We are meant to be together. We went to school and graduated. I have a degree in marketing and Jamie has a degree in business. He makes so much money that I haven't had to work a single day since graduation. And that's fine by me. I never really liked the idea of working 9 to 5 anyways. Jamie's at work right now, so I'm home waiting for him. I like to make sure that the apartment is clean and I'm wearing a cute dress. I also cook dinner even though I'm not very good at it. Here's today's outfit of choice. Jamie should be be here any minute. He's incredibly punctual. I'm proud of everything he has accomplished. We had a beautiful wedding filled with our friends and family. Olivia and Ariel stood next to me and Mark stood next to Jamie. It was everything we could have ever dreamed of and more. <gasps> Jamie! Hi, babe. Welcome home. Thanks. How was your day? What did you do, beautiful? I read my book, I cleaned a bit, I worked out, the usual. How about you? Land any big clients today? Actually, yes! I got myself a pretty big client. That's amazing! It is! My coworkers were pretty impressed, and I think a little jealous too. They should be. No one is even near achieving what you've accomplished. And you've only been with this company for a year so far. Thanks for being so supportive, my love. But I do have something I need to talk to you about, though. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. Just a little change of schedule. Gonna have to work a few more extra hours every week. 
Oh, why? This new client's pretty high profile and they have a lot of requests. It's gonna take up all of my regular hours, so I'll need to handle my other clients outside of the 9 to 5 schedule. What time will you be home, do you think? Maybe by 8? That won't be too bad, right? Right. It won't be too bad. I can just make dinner later. Perfect. I knew you'd understand. It only took six months for Jamie to start working a lot later than 8 o'clock. I ate dinner alone and put it in a container in a fridge for him for when he gets home. He just worked so hard. I wish he would relax a little bit. We're perfectly fine in the apartment we're in. Sure, I want to have a baby someday and I want Jamie to spend time with the baby too. But this is good for now. Jamie, you're home! Hey... Oh, Jamie, you're exhausted. Oh, it was a rough day. It's been a few rough months. I'm just trying really hard to succeed at this new business thing. I know, but... But what? But you deserve some time off. I wish you'd relax a little bit. I can't relax, Layla. I have to provide for our family. But what you've provided is so much. It's enough. It's not. I won't stop until we're in our own house and we have beautiful babies and a dog and a white picket fence. I want it all. Well, if you aren't going to give up the amount of work you have, then at least find a way to share the work. How? What if you found an assistant? You could hire someone to help you with the administrative stuff, you know? They could field your calls and answer your emails. Layla, that's brilliant. What a great idea. Really? Thanks, I'm glad you like it. I'm gonna find an assistant tomorrow. Great idea. So, what about dinner? Oh, right. Uh, sorry I missed it. I'm starving. Is there any left? Of course. Jamie got an assistant. I hear that this assistant does really good work. Jamie talks really highly of him. His name is Avery. Maybe one day I'll get to meet him. Jamie tells me things like Avery bought me coffee today, Avery memorized my order, or Avery and I have so much in common. We spent all of the lunch hour talking and almost missed our meeting. <sighs> I'm glad he made a friend, even if it does bring him home later. Hey, hon. It's really late. Yeah, Avery and I were having meetings until late tonight. What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? I mean, I thought that working with Avery was going to give you a chance to give him the work so that you didn't have to do it. Uh, no, that's not how it works. I don't think you need to be sassy about it. And another thing, Avery's not a man. What? Avery's a woman. I thought you had a man as an assistant. I've heard you say he. No, you definitely haven't. No, I definitely have. I've heard you say he and I so many different times. Oh, come on. You made that up in your head, Layla. What does it matter anyways? I just... Are you jealous? Maybe! She seems to get to spend way more time with my husband than I ever do. You go to work at 8 in the morning, and you don't get back until 10 o'clock at night. Avery is with you all of those hours. Then you come home, skip dinner, or eat it after I'm in bed, and I don't get to see you. On the weekend, you go into work and have more meetings with Avery. I think you're overreacting. I don't think I am! I'm your wife! I want you to spend time with me! Well, I probably won't spend time with you if you keep acting like this! How can you even say that to me? You're awful! Jamie started taking work trips. He's been gone for four days now. He told me that Avery was coming with him to make sure he made it to his meetings on time, as if he doesn't know how to work a clock. I don't know who he thinks he's fooling. It's clear that he'd rather be spending time with her than with me. What's happening to us? Hey, Layla. Hey. 
what? No welcome home? Hi, my darling. How was your work trip with your assistant, Avery? Hmm? Was it as beautiful as our honeymoon in Florida? Is this seriously what this is about? You're jealous that I took Avery on a work trip. More like I'm angry you took Avery on a work trip. You know that I'm uncomfortable with the idea of you spending so much time with her, especially because it takes you away from me. Get a grip, Layla. It's fine. It's not fine. You're hurting me. What's going on, girly? It's late. I don't know what to do, Olivia. I think Jamie is cheating on me. What? He has a lady assistant named Avery, and he's been spending way more time with her than he does with me. He comes home late, and he even took her on his work trip. <gasps> Not on a work trip? Yes! What are you going to do? I need to figure out how to catch him in the act. Then what? Then, I don't know. Maybe it'll come to you? Yeah, I hope so. Whatever happens, you will always have me. Never forget it. Thanks, girly. This is going to stink. Uh, Layla, you're home soon. Uh, how was shopping? Is this Avery? Uh. Nice to meet you, Avery. It's a pleasure. What is she doing here, Jamie? We were working. Don't lie to me. She's not lying. She is! This is ridiculous! First you hire a woman as your assistant and tell me she's a man. I never did that. I didn't make it up. Then you spend more and more time at the office until you're skipping dinner and coming home after I'm already in bed. I have a lot of work to do. Don't interrupt me. Then you take her on a work trip. Are you kidding me? Overnight at a resort? Do you really think I'm that dumb? Layla. Then you bring her to our house. This is insane. I can't believe I didn't see it sooner. See what? You're cheating on me. I'm not cheating on you. Avery doesn't mean anything to me. How can you say that, Jamie Kins? That proves it! Jamie Kins? That's a horrible nickname. At least come up with something better than that lame nickname. Do I really mean nothing to you? <sighs> That's not what I meant. So she does mean something to you. You are cheating on me. No, I mean... I think you should go, Jamie. I think you should find somewhere else to stay. I don't want you near me. Please, can we talk about this? There's nothing to talk about. Both of you get out. Nice to meet you, Layla. Get out! No, sweetie. Hmm. Here's what we have to do. What? We're gonna pick ourselves up. We're gonna move on, and we're going to find a way to get back at him. Revenge? <laughs> yeah! I don't know. Isn't that a little immature? He just cheated on you! I don't care about immature anymore! How will we get revenge? Hang on. Let me search something. Uh, okay! I found the other woman's social profile. And? <gasps> oh my gosh! She's married too! No! Yes! Do you think he knows? His name is Michael! Girl, he's cute too! Of course he is! Poor guy! Probably doesn't even know she's cheating on him! I say let's tell him! Really? 
Absolutely! She ruined your life, so let's ruin hers! That sounds like bad karma to me. What goes around comes around, and it's time for it to come around and get her. I'm logging in as you. How do you have my password? <laughs> We've been best friends for a long time now, girly. It's bacon hair 25. It always has been. And it always will be. And I'm in. <laughs> I'm messaging him. What are you going to say? Just that you have some important information you need to share and that he needs to meet you at the restaurant on Main tomorrow at 6 p.m. You're setting up a place for us to meet? So I have to talk to him in person? <laughs> Absolutely! This is not the kind of information you share over a message on social media. Come on now. Ugh, fine. He messaged back! I hate this. What did he say? He said that he has the feeling that he knows what you're gonna tell him. He is agreeing to meet with you. This is a mess, Liv! I know, I know, but hey, you have me! And I will be with you every step of the way. Mark isn't gonna take this very well, so let me tell him, okay? Okay. I know Jamie is still his best friend, so I don't really want to be the one to tell him anyways. Done! You're all set for tomorrow. Can't wait to hear all about it. I better go. Mark is getting a movie ready. I'll talk to you after the meeting tomorrow. Love you. Love you. Everything about this is horrible. I thought Jamie was my soulmate. After all we've been through, from our first meeting to the dance, to going to college and to life together in the real world, I thought for sure that we'd be together forever without any problems. I don't want to try to guess why he decided to cheat on me, but I know that I'm not going to blame myself. I am going to tell Michael what Avery is doing to him though, because I don't like that woman at all, and I want her to feel the same pain in all of this. Michael? You must be Lila. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. I wish we were meeting under different circumstances. So you're bringing me bad news about Avery then? Did you guess? Yeah, I started to figure it out a few months ago. She started this new job as an assistant to this guy, Jamie, who's totally full of himself. Yep, I know Jamie. I thought that she was just really dedicated to her new job. I thought that this Jamie guy was just working her really hard. I mean, she started staying out really late and not coming home until after I was in bed. She'd leave at the normal time in the morning, so I thought she was just pulling 15-hour workdays. I get it. Then she went on this trip to a resort. That's when I figured it out, too. Figured it out? I'm Jamie's wife. No way. Did you think I was just some onlooker that saw all of this happen? Did you think I didn't have a connection to it? Yeah, I thought maybe you worked at the office or something. Unfortunately, no. I am the other man's woman. Dang, so we've both been burned by this. Burned and heartbroken. What are we gonna do? Have you confronted Avery about it? No, I've been too nervous. I confronted them. I messaged you last night after I kicked them out of my apartment. He brought her back to our house. I couldn't believe it. And he tried to tell me they were just working. I'm not an idiot. I'm sorry you had to see them. I consider myself lucky that I never met the guy, but he seems like a real jerk. Avery is a real jerk, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's nice to laugh. I haven't found anything funny in weeks. Me either. All I could think about was Jamie coming home late and being with another woman. It's weird. It's actually like a weight is lifted off of my shoulders. Mine too. I thought that I'd be miserable forever, but I actually kind of feel relieved that I finally figured out what's been going on. I thought it was something I was doing. No. Avery cheating on you and Jamie cheating on me has nothing to do with us and everything to do with them. It's their fault and their choices. I don't think I'll ever forgive Jamie. I'm going to leave Avery. I'm gonna file for divorce. 
Me too. They can go off and be happy together somewhere else, but not here. Not where I can see them and not connected to me. <laughs> you know, Avery and I have a vacation planned. We leave next week. No way! What are you going to do? Well, I was hoping to use the trip as a way to feel connected to Avery again, but now I think I'll just take the trip solo. Unless... Unless... Do you want to come with me? I mean, it's already paid for. I won't ask you to pay for a cent. It might be nice to get away from all this mess for a bit. We could file for divorce together on our trip. <laughs> you know, that actually sounds really nice. Yes, I'll go with you. Amazing. I'll send you all the details. This could be really fun. It could be. Thanks for inviting me. This will probably be more fun than I've had in months. And get this, he asked if I would go on a trip with him. What? Girl, what did you say? I said yes. That's my girl. We leave next weekend. Where are you going? Some cabin north of here. It's going to be so nice to get away from the apartment and from Jamie. Is Jamie back yet? No, when I kicked him out, I told him not to come back. If he does, it'll probably just be for clothes and a toothbrush. I saw a charge for a hotel downtown on our bank account, so he probably got a room for him and Avery. I know Michael kicked Avery out too. As he should! There's no room for cheating husbands and wives in small apartments. It's weird, but I feel really comfortable with Michael. There's always been a part of me that felt that I was forcing things with Jamie. I mean, when I was at college without him, I was excited to meet other people. When I moved to schools in high school, it was really hard to be away from him, but I felt like I was having a chance to explore a new me. Every time that I started to learn something about myself, here came Jamie ready to ruin it all for me. It was always about him and about his feelings. It was never about me. He just made me feel like a brat. You were not a brat. You were always just fighting for the right to be yourself and to do the things that you wanted to do. When you finally found something you were excited about, going to Sundale University, he lied to you about it. Again, he was making everything up about him. You're right. You know, Michael and I sat at a restaurant and talked until it closed. They had to ask us to leave. We had so much in common. But does he play Roblox? Yes? <laughs> this could be the best trip ever! So then he said to me, I don't have any Robux. <laughs> that is hilarious! No way he was playing without Robux! He was, he was. He even tried to tell me he ran into guest 666. Oh my gosh, Pat, he was clearly lying from the start. <laughs> Absolutely. Have you talked to Avery? Not really. She came by the apartment to pick up clothes. She didn't say where she was going or where she was staying. What's weird is that I never even got to confront her. I know she knows that I know, but I didn't tell her that I knew. Maybe Jamie told her? I didn't tell Jamie that we met or anything. He has no idea. So she just left me then, without saying a word? She just started sleeping somewhere else. That's so messed up. It is. It really is. I'm glad that we're filing our divorce papers together. Me too. I can't believe we're in our 20s and we're going to be divorced. Ridiculous! I thought I'd be sitting in a rocking chair outside of an old folks home with Jamie, talking about the next time they'll bring cookies to bingo and if our grandchildren will take time to visit. <laughs> I thought the same way about Avery. Oh well, times change I guess. Is it really crazy to say that I'm happy that I met you, Michael? No, I don't think it's crazy at all. I'm happy that I met you too, Lila. It's really weird. I feel really comfortable with you. I feel like I've known you forever, and that we could talk for days straight and never run out of things to talk about. I feel the same way. After our trip, would you like to go on a date with me? Like, a real date. I'll pick you up and take you somewhere nice. Yeah, that sounds really great. I'd love to go. Perfect. Things are looking up, Lila. Yeah, they are.
Welcome back. You seem like you're in a good mood. I am. Why are you so happy? I thought you'd be depressed and crying all the time. That's really telling, Jamie. Is that what you wanted me to be doing? I guess that's just what I expected. For your information, I'm happy because I have moved everything of yours out of the apartment. I took your name off of the lease. You don't live here anymore. What? Why would you do that? Because I'm divorcing you, Jamie. We're done. I'm not waiting around for you anymore. You told me you thought we were soulmates, and guess what? You were wrong. We aren't. I don't want anything to do with you anymore. I'm cutting my losses and kicking you out. Adios, muchacho. You can't do this. I, I don't have anywhere to go. I bet Avery will find a place for you to stay. Now get out. Scram! Leave! We're done here. I never want to see you again. Except when we officially get divorced in front of the court. I can't wait to see you on that day. Well guys, here we are! It's the day of my wedding! Michael and I went on that date and it was magical. We felt like we were designed for each other and we couldn't believe all of the different things that had to happen so that we could find each other. We truly believed that if we hadn't gone through all of the crazy stuff that we went through, we would never have met and have had the chance to fall in love. It's like a plot straight from a movie. Jamie and Avery ended up getting married and get this, divorced already! They didn't even last six months. I guess when your relationship is built on lies and sneaking around, you don't have much to go off of in the end. I hope he eventually finds happiness. I forgave him. It took a while, but I know that cheating on me was never really about me and had everything to do with his own unhappiness. Maybe one day he'll be truly happy. Michael and I are wonderfully happy together. He's the man of my dreams, truly. And I can't wait to marry him and spend the rest of our lives together. Layla, it's time we have to go! I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Oh!